Welcome back to another unturned video. Today I joined a normal mode PvP server and we're going to do a ton of PvP against the whole server. We're going to do a live raid and then at the end we're also going to get banned from the admin. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you do make sure to drop a like, let's try to reach 250 likes. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button. Each one will help the channel grow a ton and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I just joined this Russian PI server. There's an admin as well. Alright, well, I have never played here. Since there's an admin, I'm gonna guess that he's probably gonna be abusing. Because even with that rank, with that reputation, that's just an instant giveaway that he's doing abusing. We're all gonna run some military. We're gonna try to get a maple strike, hopefully, or any weapon. There's already some, some shots over there happening. We might get ourselves an epic Rex to riches. Now, the server's on normal mode as well, by the way. So there's going to be decay and bullet drop and all of that. Maybe we'll try to get a Cobra from here, actually. Yeah, there is actually a cobra let's go pick up all of these clothes all the extra ones we can actually make them into cloth we get ourselves a low color bar box as well we can easily just fill that up now we had ourselves to military so we got ourselves a maple strike there's also some bleeding on the server we're gonna fill up this maple strike from the little magazines that i have barely have enough ammo to do anything actually a mega zombie right next to me but i i don't have enough ammo to kill him for sure so maybe we can farm around here get ourselves some low caliber ammo and then we might try to kill him well there's a guy right outside of the tent i'm gonna try to go literally right behind him so that i don't miss any shots yeah he has no clue that i'm actually back here and yeah, he went inside the tent this gives me a chance to actually push up i'm gonna prone so that they don't hear me pushing up yeah they're reloading something in there and yeah, there's one right over there yeah there's another one right over there actually all right and they're both dead all right, there are some guns. Let me clear the zombies out first. Oh, there's a mega as well coming towards me. All right, so all the zombies should be dead. No, he's dead. Literally, 10 bullets. Oh, detonator. All right, well, that's actually perfect. And some attachments, actually. We could take those for our maple strike. Now, let's actually go check what that duo had. And rocket shots. Okay, well, I think an admin is raiding something with rockets. And these guys had a Yuri, some grenades. Let me put attachments. I don't know if he might be clearing out raided bases or something like that. I guess that's what's actually happening. Let me take that Zubek as well. Probably next step would be to build a base unless we get killed from the admin. Oh, of course. I thought at least he's not gonna kill me, but we got ourselves a admin in god mode. He was shooting rocket launchers like literally 10 seconds ago. I have no idea what's happening, but the mega zombie is chasing somebody. I think that's the admin, yeah. The admin is actually shooting rockets towards the mega zombie. That's, uh, that's normal. I think there's another guy as well. I don't know if he's friends with the admin, but I'm gonna try to kill him. If he's in god mode or something, then he's right over there. He's dead. Yeah, this guy's not an admin, I'm pretty sure. Let's clear out the zombies first. The mega zombie is not dead either, so we could try to get him and farm some XP. Yeah, mega zombie is right here. Yeah, the admin is right next to the guy where I killed. I have no idea what he is doing. He had a... He took the maple strike. Why you take maple... Oh, he's gone. He took the maple strike though. That guy was shooting maple strike towards the mega zombie. Let's try to kill the mega zombie. There's an airdrop as well coming by. Alright, Mega Zombie is dead. Get ourselves some XP. Let's max out Sharpshooter. Alright, let's check out what loot he had. He has a Spec Ops vest for sure, a bunch of grenades, two Night Vision. Well, we just found some admin abused base just by this billion sentries everywhere. I'm gonna assume that it is admin abused. All of them have a zoo back. Thankfully, the generator is off and the bed is claimed. Well, I am definitely not going to take this over because if the generator is on, uh, I literally die instantly. I'm gonna try to build a base somewhere or take one over at least. I'm gonna try to get a blowtorch next so I can actually start making lockers. At the same time, we're getting ourselves glue so that we can farm ourselves a bunch of explosives. And then after that, I'm probably gonna run around the map, maybe try to find the admin base or some bases in general. And I actually found a base to take over. We're gonna place a door there and we're gonna put a bed here. I'm actually dying of toxicity, so I am going to kill myself. Tree is finally down after hitting it for the past 10 minutes. Get ourselves five logs, which should be quite enough to actually make ourselves like two crate. Now our base is very close to military, so as soon as we hear some shooting, we'll instantly counter them and then get all of their loot if it's a full moon then that's actually really good because then we can actually farm ourselves a mega zombie we can get ourselves a bunch of raw and all of that and xp we got ourselves a saw and now we can make all of these into planks now in this crate i'll put both of the detonators for sure and we're, we already filled it up well i asked for a day and i uh, <laughs> actually did do it all right i guess that's a bit of more proof that he's actually abusing because one guy told him what to do there is a guy in the police station i don't think he any actually has any good loot you gotta hide your toes, though. He only had a cobra. No, Nyko shots. Those shots are at home, and for sure. And actually, an airdrop is landing very close to here. Still hasn't fallen down yet. It's right over there. I'm gonna go get for the airdrop first, and then we'll go and check out what this Nykrev guy is doing. Our airdrop landed. Looks like a saber tooth, a Swiss Gewehr, and then some bunch of junk. I guess this saber tooth is actually... Wait, there's a... 
Wait, I hear a heli. Somebody's flying a heli. If it's the admin, then can't. Ca oh yeah, it's uh, that's a hind. That's from Russia or whatever. That's definitely not from this map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the admin. He just spawned it in or something. We can't really shoot him because if he might try to kill us. Wait, is he? He's landing it in the water. All right, well, I'm actually gonna run away. I'm gonna go to home and Isle. Check out what the Nightcraft guy is doing. Got ourselves a saber tooth from that airdrop, which is really good. Yeah, there's actually steps inside. This is a live base. Right, I need to not make any steps, but I have to go up there. Hopefully, he didn't hear that one sound here. Yeah, he actually didn't finish the base yet. Right, what is going on here? Oh, this guy is definitely farming a ton of metal. He's inside. I hear him. Right, he's dead. Uh, Nike. Yeah, this is the Nike. We got a blowtorch though. That's actually really what we needed. Let's just take the Nike. Some some more ammo. Some high kill. Right, we'll do it. Yeah, he closed. He completely closed the rest of the base. All right, let's go back to base though. We just found a live raid. As soon as we get ourselves some charges, we will definitely pay this guy a visit. But most importantly, we got ourselves a blowtorch, so we can actually already start crafting charges. Pay myself a ton of crates. Now what I need to do is farm myself crafting tree so that I can start crafting charges. I got myself some lockers as well. I did get the crafting XP that I needed. I'm gonna pick them all up, all of the raw, all of the glue, all of the grenades, and I'm going to craft as much C4 as possible. I got one, two, three, four. Got four C4. And all we need to actually get more is glue. So I'm gonna go over to Albertson, and then from there we should be able to get quite a ton. Well, I am dead. I did not know that that guy actually saw me. He's right over there. Uh, and he is dead. I think he was typing and I caught him perfect timing. Let's pick up all of his loot. Maple strike. He has a steely as well. Blowtorch. I think he salvaged my maple strike as well. All right, and now let's go back to base. Well, I've been farming for a bit. Got myself quite a ton of charges. Nicole joined me as well for backup. She has literally no XP or any of that though. Now TPs are literally instant. So let's say I do get killed by this guy. Then I would just TP back instantly. I don't really want to lose the detonator and all of these charges that I have. So hopefully this raid will actually go well. And hopefully he has some really good loot. Oh, he opened and Oh, he's dead. That's perfect because now we don't have to waste charges on going through this door. He actually upgraded base a ton. All right, well, we should probably like put three charges right over here. We should definitely have enough to prepare to raid this base though. We have three more off there. So we're gonna use half of our charges right here. All right, this did break. Right, he still didn't do doors here. And I heard him respawn because I heard him fall on the cloth of his bed. So he's definitely back. We'll put three charges right over here. Oh, he has a master key. So it's actually quite a deadly weapon when defending a base. No, he's right there. And he is dead. All right, Staley, yeah, this is the loot he had upstairs. And there are two lockers and two metal counters. Well, we are through. I'm pretty sure we broke his bed as well. So I have to go back to base and get myself maybe like another charge. I think I should be able to craft one. Yeah, I think I only need the grenade to actually make another charge. So I need to farm. Oh, there's actually a grenade. Perfect. We are back. Got ourselves one charge. And here we go. All right, three broke. Looks like rocket launcher and the rocket. Okay, Metsamores. Oh, yeah, this guy definitely farmed uh, Holman Isle. All of this loot is from there. He has a scaler as well. All right, I could use the Metsamores to actually finish off this last locker. Yeah, broke and looks like another Metsamores. Uh, nothing too good in that locker, actually. Right, we are back in base depoting. Wardrobe's right over there. I'm gonna use the rocket launcher. Hopefully, should hit them. All right, yeah, that should have hit them, actually. I still have one more. And I think I missed them or something. That's fine, though. Let's just use the Metsamores. All right, they all broke. Let's check out if there's any good loot. Looks like there's a steely. Two steelies and a detto. All right, not really worth it, but we can actually make ourselves a horde beacon and get a dragon frank from it. Well, another airdrop landed right here. Looks like a Swiss giver, a bunch of junk, Vonya. I guess we could only take this Swiss giver from that. And even that gun is not really one of my favorites. All right, well, we're gonna log out for now. Uh, we've been on the server for quite a ton. Uh, we should be back later on, though. Get ourselves quite a ton of good progress, though. Hopefully, we won't get offline raided by the time we leave. And then we will be back probably tomorrow all right so i'm back i am actually on another character we didn't get raided there are some guns we gotta zoom back here all of the other loot is safely on the other character there's already some shots happening literally right next to military helicopter right next to us as well actually this wasn't here yesterday for oh there's a base as well all right there's some lockers out here the owners might be online then yeah there's a the owners are actually online there's a log out here as well oh i am dead well, looks like that is actually his base. Well, they are actually outside my base. I I think they know where I live. And the problem is I actually don't... I barely have any guns here. All of the other guns are on my other character. I have myself a scaler, but that's pretty much it. And most of this base, I can't even salvage it because I didn't build it. So I can't go from behind him. The only thing I can salvage is the door. And they are a duo. So this isn't really looking too good, unfortunately. Oh, I'm gonna place a crate right over there. Oh, yeah, he's... Man, he's literally door camping me. They can't actually come in. 
Nah, I close the door on them. The only thing that they can do is like place a plate and then go prone to come in. But if they do that, I should be able to kill them easily. So I'm gonna leave the door open as literal bait so they could try to do that. Well, they're throwing grenades. Thing is, nothing that a good old blowtorch won't fix. Now they're both literally here. I'm dead from behind the crate. <laughs> yeah, they broke my bed. Okay. Uh, thankfully, I still have my other character inside that base. So maybe we should just switch characters. Wait, I didn't even spawn inside the base. Ah, uh, that's actually kind of a good thing. I spawned out here. Uh, well, I have all of my loot on me. And then we might actually try to raid these guys since I have all of the raiding loot on me. And even Nicole has a lot of raiding loot on her. So where she's gonna join and we're gonna try to raid them. Nicole did manage to join. She did close the door. They did break my bed. They are literally still out here. But the thing is, now they actually have no idea that we are back. So we can make this as an opportunity to go try to kill them. And then we'll door camp them the same way that they door camped us. Well, they are actually door camping us again. The grenade didn't go off. All right, well, let's take all of his load. Thank you very much. Pretty sure his buddy is on the roof, actually. They did place this plate. Oh, yeah, I did get all of his stuff. Got myself an extra maple strike. They're door camping us again, man. These guys really have nothing else to do. All right, well, they're kind of bad. Um, They're not on the roof. I did that to check if they're actually still on the roof, but they're not. I kind of spawned close, so maybe Nicole can TP with guns, and then we could try to counter them from somewhere else and not inside the base. Yeah, he actually had no idea. Alright, yeah, we killed them both. Uh, let's make a plate really quickly. Let's salvage that og. Alright, we are in. Oh, why hello there. Uh, and we killed them. I got my scaler back. Let's take all of the slots. Yeah, we actually just did what they did to us. Alright, so I actually need to get myself crafting three to actually proceed and make myself charges. So I'm gonna farm as much trees as quickly as possible. Because I literally have zero XP. Right, well, I am dead, then they are back. Oh, there's a Devil's Bane here. Nicole did place a bed in here. Oh, yeah, they're gonna be pushing. Oh, yeah, they're both here. I only have a Devil's Bane, man. I can't really do anything. And I know we're stuck in here. Oh, I got them both. I'm gonna bleed out. Well, thankfully, Nicole has a bed in there. So that actually came in clutch. Yeah, we did kill both of them. That Devil's Bane actually came in clutch. Right, Devil's Bane, all of these maple strikes. As right, so well, the Elise pack. Yeah, all of this load is here. We should go back to base depot them. And then I'll get myself crafting three once again. And raid their lockers. Got myself two charges. Should be more than enough to break all of these lockers. Uh, they both rage quit, by the way. So that's pretty funny. And there's actually quite a ton of load. Nothing that special, though. A bunch of metal. Could actually take all of those to make ourselves a bunch of lockers. There's also a hummingbird out here that's probably there so we're gonna get it we're gonna steal it and then we're gonna chill around the whole map why would you look at what we just found an admin sky base obviously uh this was definitely moved up with some good old uh, well he's going to kill us with a yeah he killed nicole let me go in third person so that i can actually mad let's tell him we're just passing by look at him man he moved all of the sky base up uh, that's the same admin that was running around in god mode by the way well i have a plan we're going to go on that sky base no matter what we're gonna kill the admin and get his dragon fang now the problem is we need to get ourselves an umbrella or something so that we can actually go very very high up and then jump completely straight down and the admin wouldn't even realize that we're on his sky base and then eventually we'll just ambush him right, now we should be pretty high up yeah now we're gonna jump down we're gonna completely abandon the helicopter as soon as we're about to land i'll take the umbrella out yeah nicole's gonna do the exact same thing as well yeah there is the sky base all right and now we take out the umbrella right now there we go we gotta make sure that our gun isn't looking down so that our gun wouldn't glitch through and he would see us from the roof i'm not sure if the admin is still inside his base though he could be somewhere else or he could be in vanish oh yeah he's inside oh there's another guy two dragon hold on all right, both dead. All right. Well, he actually had two dragon fangs out there. Oh, he has... Wait, he has just turned on god mode. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> this guy really just turned god mode on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have gotten a perma ban because unspecified, because I guess he didn't want me to be in his base on a PvP server. Nicole got banned as well. We both got banned. I guess that's the end of the video then. We did do quite a ton of good stuff. A lot of PvP. Got banned. Live raid. Live defense as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.